Hey everyone, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Jared Myers and today we're gonna talk about the five things that we did design wise for our kitchen that we really love and we'll talk about why. If you stick around towards the end, I'm gonna throw in a bonus one, so hopefully see you at the end. So with that, let's get into it. One is the soft close feature that we added to all of our cabinets and drawers. It's a simple addition when you're going through and checking out an Ikea. It's just a little thing that pops on to each hinge that you want to, it to become a soft close or to a drawer. Super easy to install, not super expensive to make them soft close, and we don't have to deal with drawers slamming or doors slamming. They just and slowly close. It's super nice. That's number one soft closed doors and drawers. All right, so the second design thing that we included in our kitchen was all of the drawers. Now, typically you have a cabinet and some shelves, but with drawers, you can basically make sure that you have a place for everything, which is really vital to make sure that you're using the most of your space and it stays organized because if you have a place for everything, it gets put away in that place every time so you don't end up with just shelves and you know, massive piles. It just helps keep you organized. And one of the best parts is you don't have to bend over as much to get, you know, bend down and get into a cabinet as much if you have the drawers, the drawers open and you grab them. So that's number two is the drawers. So number three, not everybody will have this option. However, if you can and you know, you have the space, put in a big island with one big level place. Fantastic for gatherings. It's great for if you have projects and you wanna lay them out, food prep, eat there. It just serves so many purposes and it's so nice to have a big gathering area for people to come and you can kind of gather around and you don't feel too close, but it feels warm and inviting, especially with a butcher block countertop that just keeps things natural feeling as well as kind of warm just because of the tone. If you can, go with a big island. We love ours. That is number three, big island. All right, the fourth thing that we love that we included in the design of our kitchen is our drawer that houses our trash and recycling. It's so wonderful to have this drawer that has the trash and your recycling put away it's not out in the open. You don't have to worry about the dog knocking it over and getting into it. You don't have to worry about the smells uh, as much because they're hidden away and inside the drawer. It's just super convenient and nice to have that trash hidden away so it doesn't take up space in your kitchen and then also keeps down some of the smells. For our fifth thing, we love that we did an Ikea kitchen because of the super clean, simple, minimal design of the simple white cabinets just flat front, super clean lines. Uh, that's what we like. So uh, we're glad that we went with Ikea because they gave us that look. All right, so I said I'd give you one bonus, but I'm gonna give you two if you stick. Some people would go against this and some people would go with this. Look, we took away our upper cabinets and we love it. It keeps the space feeling more open. If you can sacrifice the space, then go for it. it just feels more open. You're not working with a cabinet in front of you while you're at the countertop. If you can't sacrifice the storage space, I get that. That leads me into the second bonus is that part of the way we did that was moving a lot of the storage to right there, which is on the back side of the island. Well, well, actually on the front side of the island where the stools are, there's storage in all those cabinets. We didn't put any handles on them. Uh, we just made it so that way they're, you know, push open. And uh, that's where we ended up putting a lot of the things that would have perhaps gone up high. So those are the two bonuses. The, if you can, get rid of the upper cabinets and then find an alternative place to store things, perhaps in the island. That wraps it up for our five favorite things that we included in the design of our kitchen and a few bonuses. So if you found any of that helpful, give me a like, subscribe, whatever, hit the bell. Um, I know a lot of people that are watching this are not subscribed, so please, that helps me out in making more content. So with that, that's it. So until next time, see ya. Thank you.